welcome back to Linda's Pantry. And today, I am craving chili, and I cannot wait to have a big pot of chili on the stove. But in the meantime, I've got stuff that I need to use up, but I want chili tomorrow for lunch. And I, um, I said that I would bring enough to share with a friend. So this is chili for one or two in a jar that I can take to work. Okay, so how I'm gonna start this, and I'm gonna test this out. So I'm not only gonna make this for you, I'm going to test it for you and see how well it comes out and see what I need to tweak or change. All right, so hopefully you stay along for the rest of it. All right, so I've got out my list of ingredients, all the peeps in the show. I have um, my Thrive Ground Beef, gotta have that. So I really, I want a heaping half cup of ground beef, okay? Uh, I need a heaping half cup of Thrive's Instant Black Beans. Now these are different than their regular black beans, so make sure if you order them from the link below in the description box that you order the Instant Black Beans, and they're super reasonable. I mean, yeah, so I'm gonna do equal amount of the beans. So we have a huge amount of protein right there in the bottom. I've got, <clears throat> oh, you know what, Never mind. That was, half, that was a half cup of each. <laughs> Sorry, I'm on a quarter cup. So a half cup of each, right? Yes. I've got a quarter cup, actually there's a little, a little heaping, of the green chilies from Thrive, and they're a mild green chili, delicious. I want to do a quarter cup of their red and green bell peppers, which is a huge value. Unreal how good these are. And then we're going to move on to some onion. You got to have onion in your chili, right? A tablespoon of onion, and that's their chopped onion. We're going to do, I've got tomatoes here. I want to have some tomatoes in here. Let's do. need like a quarter cup of chopped or diced tomatoes and now we can move to the spices and how easy is that and you've got almost half the jar to um, fill up with liquid or water so let's get a teaspoon of smoked paprika a ooh, I want a teaspoon of red pepper flakes because I like it spicy a teaspoon of garlic, granulated garlic, and done. And then I need a tablespoon, a heaping tablespoon, well there you go, of chili powder. Actually I'm going to go with about a tablespoon and a half. And then I love cumin or comino, however you want to, comino, however you want to pronounce it. I want a tablespoon of that. And we add a little salt, a little pepper. A little bit of salt and pepper. And we are ready for dinner or lunch. In this case, it's going to be lunch. So, in a quart jar. And if you want, all you have to do, you can vacuum seal this. Super easy. So let me bring you in or show you up close what this looks like and I'm going to put this on the stove and we're going to cook this up and oh, we're going to have some chili and then I'm going to make up another one to take for lunch tomorrow. All right guys, come on over. So in my saucepan, I've got heating up right now um, two cups of water. In my uh, jar, I wanted to make sure that you know that I added, I totally forgot till I was cleaning up, that I did not add the tomato powder. I have two heaping tablespoons of tomato powder with the rest of the ingredients. That, that's the only thing that changed, okay? So now we're gonna go ahead and add our ingredients right out of the jar into the pan. And we want a thick chili, right? So we're gonna let this refresh and it will take at least 10 minutes because of the meat. The meat takes the longest. You could put the meat in a baggie and set that aside in a bowl and have that refresh on its own uh, if you wanted to for 10 minutes before you started this process and then it would only take a matter of minutes. 
but I'm going to go ahead and see how this comes out. You guys are coming along with this um, chili recipe for the first time with me because I haven't done this particular one and I'm, I want to test it out and make sure that I've got the correct measurements, the correct everything. See, to me, that's a perfect bowl of chili. Put some cornbread on that. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll bring you back after this has a chance to simmer for about 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just so you know, and look how thick and beautiful this is. This, um, I, the beans, the actual uh, instant beans take 15 to 20 minutes. So this would be on the stove top for 15 to 20 minutes. The, um, I think the meat is refreshed by now. It's been about 10. It <laughs> smells amazing. And look, at, I have a quart of chili. Um, I did add an extra half cup of water because your beans are going to absorb, your meat's going to, your veggies, all that. The veggies are already refreshed. It, we're just waiting on the uh, black beans. I am super excited. Now, you could add a jar of home canned beans to this very easily and it would be fantastic. But we're gonna give it another uh, 10 minutes for the beans to refresh and I'll bring you back. If too much evaporates, I can add a little bit more water, but I honestly, it smells like the seasoning is perfect. I'm super excited. Just keep simmering. Mmm, chili in a jar, it's delicious. Oh my gosh. And I don't have to make a big pot of it. This can be chili for one. There's no reason you can't have a bowl of chili tonight and one tomorrow, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna let you take a look at this. Look how beautiful this chili is. It is thick, it's rich, the beans are done perfectly. It does take, it took 20 minutes. Um, now, you could, like I said, you could pre-soak the meat and the beans ahead of time, have them separated out of this, and um, then all you'd have to do is heat it up. But it, it didn't, 20 minute chili that I didn't have to chop one thing. I'm not gonna waste anything. I know that I can consume this whole pan, <laughs> not to all in one sitting, but I can consume this, and it's gonna be a thick, hearty chili. And I'm gonna to top this with some green onions. And there you go. And we'll get a picture and I'll be right back to taste test when it's not hot lava. Yeah, that's it. Okay, I think I can taste this now. So I wanna make sure I got some black bean. And the black beans, they just come back to life beautiful. I want a little bit of that green onion. Um, and doesn't that look good? Beautiful, thick chili for a fall night or a hearty lunch. And give me a, <laughs> got a blow on it. Mmm. 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 Oh my gosh. This rivals any chili I've ever made, honestly. And being this is the first time I put this together for you guys, I'm so excited. I will be making up chili in a jar to have on hand because that would be even faster to do. It literally took me no time at all. You could actually put this in the crock pot when you first got home from work and you know run around do your thing for an hour and done! Booyah! If you wanted to or you could just do it like I did on the stovetop for oh and it's got a little kick, a little spicy! Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Okay guys I'm just gonna tell you right now this is delicious. It is thick, it's hearty, it's warming, it's perfect. I couldn't ask for a better chili that's safe or shelf stable. So all you wanna do is, um, if you were gonna do the meal in a jar, I would fill up the rest of that jar with extra ingredients. Get it to the top and put your meat product or your bean product, the extra, on top so it doesn't suck out any of the chili powder or any of that and vacuum seal these and they would be good for a long time at least a year on the shelf but you'd have them at your fingertips mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. oh my gosh i love the ground beef the beans are perfect the peppers and onion i'm just going to tell you it's delicious I hope you try it. Let me know in the comment section if you've ever done this and if you have, if there was anything different that you did 
And if you're going to try it, go ahead and make sure you let me know. I would love to hear the results. All right, guys. Mm. Don't forget, the link to my Thrive website is down below and across the screen right here. If you're interested in becoming a, a, a consultant, you need to contact me personally um, so I can make sure that you get to the right spot. If you land on my website and in the right hand upper corner it says Linda or you've, uh, your consultant is Linda's Pantry, you're in the right spot. And then you can sign up from there or you can do your order or however you want to do it. I know I've had a couple people that have signed up and they actually accidentally got onto somebody else's down or upline because um, they went directly to the Thrive Life website when you need to use the link below. All right, or contact me if you have any questions. I can make you a success. If you are interested in a home business, this company is phenomenal and this product is amazing. And I need to eat dinner now. <laughs> mm -hmm.